The Food and Drug Administration has raised the minimum age to buy tobacco to 21 years old. Now that change includes e-cigarettes and vaping cartridges. The CDC says nearly 40 million U.S. adults still smoke cigarettes. Nearly half a million Americans die prematurely of smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke every year. So we want to know what you think the legal age to buy tobacco should be. Vote right now in the 10 News app or at WBIR.com. And as you do, 10 News reporter Sean Franklin found out how the change might affect tobacco businesses in East Tennessee in this 10 Listens report. President Trump signed the bill into law last week, and last night the FDA's website updated to say it's illegal for anyone under 21 years old to buy tobacco products. One of our viewers, Rebecca Wilson, wanted to know, I was wondering about the new tobacco laws. I haven't seen it mentioned, but my friend is a convenience store manager and got the email from corporate. The FDA caught many smoke shops in Knoxville off guard with the announcement. It comes as part of Congress's $1.4 million spending bill. I think we're going to get quite a bit of complaints. Dee's wine and liquor store manager Lily Martin says the new law will make things smoother for her store, but that's because they're already IDing folks for alcohol. I don't think it's going to cause so much backlash and anger. I think it's just going to be a lot of complaints and frustration more than anything for people. It's going to be 1285. She says there hasn't been a lot of official information about how stores should enforce the law. So we don't know like when we're supposed to start IDing for 21 at this point, which that's frustrating and confusing for us. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture released a response this morning saying it's awaiting guidance from the FDA on how to enforce the new requirement. Knoxville Congressman Tim Birch had voted no on the spending bill for multiple reasons. He thinks the minimum tobacco purchasing age should be decided on a state-by-state -state basis. I would feel more confident in our state government to handle legislation like that as well. In Knoxville, Sean Franklin, 10 News. All right, let's see what you think about the new tobacco age and the vast majority of you, 81% saying 21 years old should be the legal age. You can still weigh in by going to the WBIR app. Now across the U.S., the number of vaping related illnesses continues to rise. There have been more than 2,500 cases reported in all 50 states and there have been 54 deaths. The CDC says the outbreak peaked in September, but states do continue to report new cases every week. 